Hey guys, what's up? So you guys might recognize this little tool. It's called the Scale of the Universe 2. So let me just choose English and show you what it's all about. Um, so this tool compares the sizes of various objects in the universe. Oh yeah, there's also music playing in the background and it's really loud and annoying, so I'm gonna turn it off. But anyway, it takes various objects in the universe from atoms to humans to galaxies and everything in between and it shows them all to scale in one spot so you can get an idea of how big all of these things are. Now I made this back in 2012. It was my high school freshman year and I made it with Macromedia Flash 8. And as we all know, Flash 8 or Flash in general is being phased out. I think Adobe is going to end support for Flash Player entirely December of 2020 this year. So once that date hits, I think this tool will become pretty much unviewable by most people on the internet, which is kind of sad. And, I, you know, over the years, I noticed that traffic to this scale of the universe was going down because fewer and fewer people were able to actually see what was going on. And I would get emails about people saying like, hey, you know, I teach this biology class and I can't use your scale of the universe anymore because it doesn't run on my school computer or something like that. And I'd always feel sad, but I'd also be too lazy to do anything about it. Well, in the last few months, me and this other guy, his name's Matt, but I don't want to reveal any more info because we got to protect privacy. Matt and I have been working on porting the scale of the universe to, to a platform that is not Flash. Specifically, it's Pixie.js. So if you actually go to the htwins.net front page and click on the scale of the universe 2 link right here, click, it takes you to the new and improved scale of the universe. Okay, there's still a language select, so I'll choose English because that's what I speak. And you get the same exact thing, but it's full screen. I think it runs at a higher frames per second than the other one, at least on my computer it does. And it doesn't require flash. so. Even when December 2020 hits and Flash Player is cancelled, this is still going to run just fine. Um, by the way, let me just show you. There are little buttons in the upper right, so I can turn off the music once again because it's loud and annoying. Uh, yeah, but let me let me drag this back. Uh, I'll put it like right here, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, so you can still click on objects to read about them, but. I think this whole process has been trying to modernize Scale of the Universe because I think there's a lot of ways in which it can be made better and more educational in the future. Um, so I know it's been eight years or seven years, I guess, since I've added any new objects to this thing, but I think now that there's kind of momentum to create new stuff again, um, it should be pretty easy to add new objects because it's just a giant text file slash image file so maybe i'll add new objects because honestly i felt like there it's there have been gaping holes so like there's nothing up in this corner maybe we could add an object there so maybe now that i'm older i could try reaching out to experts in their field of biology astronomy physics chemistry whatever and get their opinion on what objects i should add and maybe could also get their opinion on what info needs to be corrected because a lot of this was based off of Wikipedia information from 2011, so it's going to be both outdated and maybe not quite correct, especially on the lower end. I'll get to there later, but um, I know I got a lot of complaints over all the years that this has been out that all the subatomic particles smaller than a proton, you can't really make sense of the size. So for me, okay, let me, let me just click on the universe. So this is the most zoomed out you can get, and then you can turn around, of course. Um, yeah, so it's kind of meaningless for me to claim that a down quark is exactly this many, uh, what is it, femtometers across, right? It's just kind of nonsensical. So I think kind of, collab instead of making this a personal project, if I collaborate with lots of experts, then it could just feel like a, uh, what do you call it, a combination of human knowledge all in one place, which I think would be a much 
bigger achievement. So that is one possible way to take this forward. I've also been thinking about making other types of scales of the universe. For example, the scale of time of the universe, which is like history, the scale of temperature, and the scale of population and some others. And I made a lot of these back in 2012, but I never finished them because I didn't have the motivation. But now that I know that this thing has a future because it's not riddled with flash, maybe I'll follow through with that. Um, yeah. Also, another kind of back end thing that I want to do with Scale of the Universe is take all the text data, which is right now stored in a giant text file, and instead store it in a SQL database because then I can make it more easy for people to, people who want to volunteer translations for this into other languages to do so in a way so that they can add new languages while I can add new objects and there's never really any conflicts going on there. So you can see that the language select gives you 20 languages but they're not all the languages and they also aren't the most standard languages because I think we have Ukrainian but not Russian so that's kind of strange, right? So, you know, I haven't accepted a new translation offer since 2013, but oh, here's Chinese, Zhongwen. Um, but again, now that we have more momentum, now might be, be the time to bring in more translations. Yeah, so I just think it's really cool that Scale of the Universe has been brought into the modern day, so I don't have to feel like it's a relic of the past. And, you know, big thanks to Matt for helping this, helping code this and make it happen. Also, when I say it's the new and improved version of Scale of the Universe, I do want to point out that it's um, the first time we've released something like this. So it could actually be more buggy and have more issues to start with, but we'll try to improve them as time goes on. And we have a way for you to contact us. There's like an email link somewhere in, in the menus. So, um hopefully people who who find bugs on their machine can report them yeah because i was thinking in terms of the work that i've done on the internet a lot of youtube videos have a very short shelf life in the sense that after you watch them once you forget about them and move on to the next youtube video but i feel like i made the skill of the universe once but it just I don't know, it just, it felt like people were excited about it for years to go come. And I think that's the kind of work I'd like to work on. Stuff that has more permanence. Because if, you, if it has more permanence, then um, even after you finish the project and you want to take a, take a break and rest and you're gone for like a couple months, people still respect you instead of forgetting about you as they do on YouTube. So because of that, the prospect of turning hswins.net into kind of an educational, interactive comparison tool actually sounds kind of cool because if I do it well and I do it with all the other metrics like time, population, whatever, maybe it'll bring a second wave of enthusiasm to the website because I feel like, you know, as of right now, hswins.net is in a slump as a website. I mean, we don't really update it with anything, but who knows? Yeah, I can't, I don't know the two characters, but I know that means the largest something. Okay. Oh, that's, that's the wrong button. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, check out Scale of the Universe at the link if you want to. And I'll see you next time.